What's up guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's happening with Spy, Tesla, NVIDIA, the QQQ, and a couple of other stickers. I'm going to talk about some big news that just came out involving NVIDIA as this thing is trying to make a comeback. Not to mention what we're looking out for on the charts for the market. Just know that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out my Mumu link. If you deposit $100, you're guaranteed five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed 15 in total. Not to mention an 8.1% APY on uninvested cash. The offer ends in just about nine days. Anyways, as far as Tesla goes, we're doing a good job at holding up thus far. We're trying to hold our 20 EMA. However, Tesla hasn't really had that catalyst to really cause this thing to pop and break that resistance near 348. And until we get that, this thing will likely remain a little bit flat. So we're just going to wait and see how things go from here. There was some big news that came out, however billionaire ken griffin has come out and he has made a very very big investment uh he has bought about 1.2 million tesla shares which is very very big news according to a recent 13f filing report and this happened actually during the third quarter uh he increased his position by about 395 percent um i think that's very important to note because that is once again leading to uh, a lot of you know, hype for Tesla as a lot of people are trying to buy it up at these levels as they're anticipating a lot of growth involving AI. And he's obviously buying it for the long term. So I think that's very, very interesting. But keep in mind, he was buying it back when the share price was, uh, you know, you know, a lot lower. This is before we got the Q3 earnings report. So just keep that in mind. This is like something that happened many months ago. It's not like he's buying them right now. The report and the filing report just came out very recently. And that's the reason why we're seeing it now. But that's still, once again, very, very bullish news. There was also some new news that came out involving EV demand. Uh, uh, there's been a lot of talk about that because of the fact that Ford announced that's going to be cutting about 14% of its European workforce. That is a little bit more unfortunate. We, <coughs> excuse me, we did see European sales come out uh, very, very recently, and uh, they are down a little bit. They were down a bit in August and for the month of September. Um, at least in major EU markets from Germany, France to Italy. That's a little bit more negative news for at least the entire EV sector. Even like Tesla is seeing a little bit of a slowdown in EV sales. I think we're still waiting for the specific numbers to come out, but uh, this wasn't the best of news for the EV market. I think that's part of why Tesla and other EVs are a little bit more lackluster. Besides that, we had some big news that came out. So one of the things that I said on this channel is that when you look at NVIDIA's earnings, if you actually break down the numbers, they did really well. Almost everything was great. Pretty much everything was good. Even their guidance for Q4 was good. It's just that it wasn't really much greater than what we were estimating. But despite that, they still did very, very well. Um, and besides that, we had like pretty much beats on everything. So now we're seeing the price target being raised from Wells Fargo, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Barclays. You guys can see the numbers here. We're expecting more increases in NVIDIA's price targets, which is very bullish. And NVIDIA remains very, very strong. Now, for today, we had initial jobless claims. Everything was very, very close to expectations. There's not really much else that's coming out. We have some very minor bill auctions for the rest of the day. And then this is what the earnings calendar looks like. We just have a couple of retail, nothing else that's too crazy. I didn't see anything else that was too crazy on the news. So, so far, this is what we're looking for on Tesla. Our main supports now are increasing at our 20 EMA at 336.5. Our resistance that's going to be a little bit tougher is going to be around this 346 to 348 area. To be bullish, you want to break past 350 to start squeezing. To be bearish, you want to see it lose 330. Overall, I presume it's going to continue to uptrend. And I think that what could happen to Tesla is we attempt to get back up to about 346. However, Tesla hasn't really seen that major, major catalyst to get this thing to run up at least so far it already ran so much and now it's just in this like consolidation phase so we have to give it more time to develop but there is potential in this nonetheless to try to push up to this upper imbalance so i think that for the morning we see tesla attempt to push up to about the 346s then we might see some consolidation we'll see if tesla eventually surpasses that so give it some time to develop on the other hand we have nvidia which is trying to make a comeback nvidia was in the red but i said to everyone wait and see if we get that bounce um, we ended up dipping to about 138, got bought back up. This morning, we dipped down to about 140, and then we got this nice comeback. So, you know, it's getting bought back up. We'll have to see if NVIDIA could surpass 148. If it does, we're looking for an attempt to get up to 150. Overall, this looks bullish. Well, let's, let's just see if this could break 148. NVIDIA is doing a good job. We're back in the green, and we're looking to see if we could surpass all-time highs. Bitcoin is also on fire. We're approaching that 98,000 target. And I think we're essentially going to try to go for that 100,000 mark soon. So it remains very, very bullish to me. ES, 
Uh, it looks more bullish. If you look at this, we've, we've broken past uh, 59.40. So we could be on our way to not only fill this gap, but get very close to 59.80, then eventually that 6,000 mark. I do think ES has more juice left, and this will continue to uptrend. As long as we don't lose 59.30, I think we favor more upside. For SPY, we also look more bullish. We're at 593 right now, exactly as you predicted that gap fill would be coming. I said SPY may dip and then bounce. If you look what happened during the pre-market, we dipped to about 587. Then we bounced off that area. So I was expecting 587 to 588. I called that in my video yesterday, and I said, we'll see if we bounce off that or not. And we ended up getting the bounce, so we were expecting that gap fill to eventually come. If SPY surpasses that gap area, the 593s, if we get past that, this imbalance will take us up to about 596 next. If we lose 589, we're going to be dipping, but this is favoring upside for 593, then eventually the 596s. For other factors out there, let me just double check. We also have um, the triple Q. So first off, we have NQ. NQ is trying to push right here. We have, <coughs> excuse me, 20,782. If we lose that, we will be dipping lower, but I think this is looking more bullish. And we're looking for essentially an attempt to get back up to about 21,000. Uh, as long as we don't lose 20,779, 20, I think we favor more upside. But look at 20,900, eventually 21,000 for potential targets. We could be pushing more. We look very, very bullish. I would say that the QQQ looks bullish. We have a gap to fill. So if you look at um, the daily time frame. This gap is only halfway filled. We still have more potential to fill the gap up to 508. So there is more upside potential on the triple Q. So I do anticipate more upside. Uh, we should be looking for an attempt for 506.5 then 508. Watch that very, very carefully. For others out there, we have Apple trying to uptrend. We're going to be looking to see if we can break past 230. If that breaks, we're looking for 232. For Netflix, um, we're still bullish despite the fact that there was a rising wedge like structure. The, I think the rising wedge is still present, but it hasn't really played out yet. So this remains bullish. Uh, this could be on its way closer to about the 900 area at this point. It's not really stopping. Um, for others, MSTR, for those who are interested in this one, we're bullish. We've broken past 500 as resistance, and this remains very, very strong. As long as we don't lose five, like the 512 area, I think we, we're going to likely try to get back up to about 550. So it's still very, very strong, very bullish. IWM looks more bullish here. As long as we don't lose 230, I think we could be on our way back up to about uh, the next imbalance at 233.75, then eventually to 235s. For coin, coin looks more bullish. We'll have to see if we can break out towards 340. I see potential in this. Amazon looks more bullish if we break past 204.6. We're essentially looking for 20, a test of a basically 206. Meta looks more bullish. Um, I was talking about 570 yesterday. If we surpassed, we're going to be running even more. It's about 573. So look for 570, then we'll see what happens after that. Microsoft looks more bullish. We'll see if we can surpass 417 to hit um, 420. Looks bullish to me. And then Google. It's kind of flat right now. As long as you don't lose 175, I do think we could be on our way back up to 177. Overall, we're just kind of flat. There was some negative news that came up, but besides that, we'll just have to give it some time to develop. So with that being said, guys, the market's trying to push right now. Tesla's a little bit flat. Uh, I still think Tesla could attempt to get up to about 346, but we'll have to give it more time to develop because you know Tesla's just not as strong as before. It is lacking that like major catalyst, and we are seeing volume slowing after so much upside from the past. So that this is completely normal. Stocks go through consolidation phases, but I do think Tesla will run again eventually. We just got to get past that 350 resistance. All right. So thank you all so much for listening. Have a great day. Enjoy uh, what life has to offer. And I'll see you guys soon in a couple of hours for another update. Thank you for listening and peace out.